Everybody talking about this new movie. Coming to America Part 2. Coming to America Part 2. It's crazy because they made the first one years ago. And I wonder why they took them so long to come out with the second one. But, you know, that's a different story. So I seen a little bit of it. I seen a little bit of it. It's about a prince who left his country, came to America, and uh, wanted to be with the woman he loved and all this other type of stuff like that. My question is, why did Prince Harry and Meghan or whatever her name is wait so long to come out with this movie? You know what I'm saying? I think Oprah did a good job directing it, but it's not what I thought it was, but I see how they're trying to turn this into a racial situation. Everybody hear uh, the actor in the movie saying that, oh, there was talks about, uh, you know, the color of the baby skin, the uh, color of the baby skin or how dark the baby skin might turn out to be. And then y'all heard the director, huh? really? really? They trying to turn this into a racial thing. Even if, if you black, if you get it, if you get pregnant by a Mexican dude, you're gonna be talking about how curly the damn baby hair is. If you get pregnant by a white man, you're gonna be talking about how light your baby skin might be. Just because she said somebody who she don't wanna say who had discussions about the complexion of a child's skin does not necessarily mean that it was a bad thing. She didn't say there was negative, bad, horrible things said about the child's skin. She said that there were discussions and its implications. Discussions and its implications, that's normal. That's normal. So again, that was a crazy little movie. And then, oh yeah, I forgot, Eddie Murphy and them, they got a movie similar to that, Coming to America, you know, and everything. When, they, when these Illuminati people get together, they gotta make sure everything goes together. The movie's gonna go together, the news gonna go together, the Hollywood shit gonna go together. So you got uh, the prince and, and, and the wife coming to America, you got Eddie Murphy coming to America, but sadly, the Latinos at our border, <laughs> they're coming to America, it's, it's not looking like the rest of our coming to America that we watching right now. If y'all ain't paying attention, they said it's like 3,500 unaccompanied minors at the border right now. Y'all was paying attention to the movie when they had uh, uh, Trump in there and they were showing y'all old clips about kids in cages and but there was old foul footage from Obama administration. That's another story, but y'all don't remember that. But when they told y'all that Obama had, Trump had kids in cages, everybody was paying attention. Right now, they're telling you that there was 3,500, 3,500 unaccompanied minors at the border right now. 1,500 since March the 1st. March the 1st through March the 4th, 1,500. Those kids that they're complaining right now about their condition, saying they're sleeping on the floor on aluminum foil blankets. Aluminum foil blankets. But y'all was so worried about the kids. Y'all talking about some coming to America? Y'all keep watching this goddamn movie. Keep watching these movies. Keep watching these movies. Y'all need to be worried about what's the coming to America at the border right now because uh, 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 they talking about some the adults, a lot of the adults, they turning around. And it's crazy. Trump built the wall and all that. And we was talking about some child trafficking, child trafficking coming through. And y'all thought that we was bullshitting when we was talking about child, child trafficking. It's just a really crazy coincidence that it's just so many kids piling up at the border right now. I think they got to make up for all the kids that they've been missing over the last couple of years. Like, nah, for real. Like, they playing around. Them kids laying on the floor underneath aluminum foil. Hungry right now. Ain't nobody paying attention to it. Too worried about La Pew, the Skunk, and Mr. Potato Head, and Dr. Seuss. All types of crazy shit. Y'all better pay attention, man. Y'all better pay attention. We still got our issues here. Corona, whatever, whatever. What they, why they bringing all them peoples over here? They not even testing them. I don't know if they test them or not, but they not testing the kids. I mean, you can fact check that. But when I was watching the news today, they were saying something about, you know, they ain't even testing the kids. Let their asses come on all over. But why just the kids? And that was 3,500 unaccompanied kids. I wonder how many more children came through that were accompanied by people who's not even their parents. A lot of them don't have birth certificates, social security cards, and the ways that you can prove who exactly they are. Y'all elected president has created a real crisis, a real crisis 
a real crisis for all of us at the border, man. It ain't no telling what he doing in Syria. They won't even tell us. This man would not even do a damn press conference. If y'all can't see right now that this man is a puppet, he's never done a press conference. He cannot sit there on his own and answer questions. He have to be scripted. He have to be strung, strung up. Lips oiled up and shit. And wake up, America. You've been being played. You've been being played. You've been being played. You've been being played. Coming to America. Welcome to America. We're playing a script. I won't be surprised if this summer all the clothes are going to be like coming to America type of clothes and shit when we wear Afghan garments and shit. I mean, that's cool. That's cool for some whatever, whatever. But I don't know. I know that shit better be lightweight. You know what I'm saying? In the summertime, because some of them things I see, um, some of them lightweight, look like they might be made of linen or something. I can rock that, but that heavy, all black, like, dark fart, no, nah, I'm not wearing that with the with the rhinestones on. It's too hot to be wearing that in the summertime, so all the others in the clothing industry that want to follow that trend, don't, don't bring that shit out. Don't bring that shit out. I'm for real. Don't bring that out. But I'm here at work now, man. I got to go to work. I just had to make that video real quick because it was on my mind. God bless y'all. God bless everybody that's coming to America, man. Y'all enjoy the show. See more views. Out of here, man. Y'all tripping.